Hi all my friends. In this video, I show you my sun sail shade that I ended up getting and I explain why I got one even though I have an awning. <laughs> but just the summary is just because they're much easier to deal with in windy conditions, especially because of the size of my awning that I have. Um, another thing too that I want to mention is they're not very expensive at all. The one I got, I believe, I believe it, it was a, the 8 by 10 or 12, but I think I mentioned it in the video, but if not, then I think I forgot the size, but I know it was eight feet this way to attach it to my um, outside of my rig, and I think I went out 10 feet, I, I, I believe, but not too much more than the 12, and it was like $40. Uh, not too bad at all. So of course, the bigger the size you go, the more uh, expensive it's going to get. Um, and then the other thing I ended up getting was these tent poles, of course, to secure it. And those were um, also just $30, so not too much. So $60, bucks, and I got a really nice setup, okay? So I'm going to go over that with you. And um, I also talk about how to anchor things down, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video that I put together, and I also show you... Um, when I first was trying it out and then later on after I have used it a couple of times I go over what I found out worked or didn't work with the setup okay but overall I'm still very happy with my setup <laughs> sorry Milo gets a little nervous when flies fly around but I wanted him here because he's hardly in any of the videos <laughs> all right so I love you all enjoy this video Okay, so this is my tent poles that I bought. And it comes in a really nice carrying bag. You can put them both inside here. And you can use them for tents, canopies. And it has the twist unlock and twist lock, unlock and lock mechanism. And a little cap to put over this part that you'll end up putting you know through your tent or canopy and it goes up to seven feet six inches and so it has like it, um, an upper pole here and a lower one i'll expand it okay so they're aluminum poles and that one is extended out and then I bought a um, sun sail. So we're going to actually put that out over here on Kent's area. Um, but eventually I'm going to use that at my area. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'll get that set up and we'll take a look at my new sun sail as well. <laughs> okay, so here is my brand new sun sail that I got. And normally when you have a tarp, that you use, you know, for a shell for shade, they're square or rectangle. Um, these are more the the sides are kind of uh, rounded. Okay, so it's not like straight, and that's supposed to allow wind be more wind resistant. Um, so I hope it's going to work and then also the material is very light and air can flow through it as well so air can kind of pass you know through it and you know past it <laughs> so it's supposed to be more um, durable and you can pull it more stronger you know or taut and that's the idea you don't want any kind of uh, it wrinkling in the center. It has to be very taut, tight, okay, and 
and then it'll supposedly help against a lot of wind. And then these are my new poles. I'm really liking my new poles. And they're pretty good size diameter. And um, so again, it has three, three sections and it twists. And they're pretty good diameter, so I think they're going to work out pretty nicely. Another thing you always want to do is have these um, side anchor straps, okay? And they help to keep everything tight. Usually we'll run like two on each side, but we don't think we'll need that because he's anchoring it over to his oni. But um, how it works is you want to have a really long um, post that you're going to put into the ground and at least about a foot into the ground. So make sure your anchor is post is very strong. And then you run a line and then there's a loop here. And then these tie down straps are amazing. And then you can um, get your tension from your um, tie down strap up near the top there so you just pull it down and get your tension so it's very nice sturdy strong you know setup against the wind um, yeah I really like what I'm learning on how cat does things now later on I'll end up using it on my vehicle but right now where I'm at we're gonna have to go uh, I'm gonna have to go into town like at least three times so I didn't want to have to take it down you know several times but I was anxious to get it out and set it up and see how it's going to work against the wind so we're using his truck right now so yeah I'll keep you posted how I like it but my friend Christina thank you Christina told me about it and she has one and really likes it and works out really well for her setup so we'll see because I just needed something just a little over where I'm at. Nothing real big and heavy. I don't like to open up my awning because if there's a big, you know, strong gust of wind, um, you know, or we can get these dust devils that come through, or, you know, and things like that. When wind things that, you know, come through suddenly those gusts, you just, I just can't get it down fast enough. So, um, yeah, so we'll see if it works out. I'll keep you posted. And I'm excited about it. <laughs> okay, in this clip, you're able to see how my sun sail is doing with 20 mile per hour winds and also gusts that happen to come through that were maybe just a tad stronger than that so so far it was doing very well and I was very pleased of the outcome of how everything was looking and how we had it anchored one of the things that I want to mention is that um, Kent has a Amazon affiliated account so basically what happens is if you want to get any of these items, if you go through a link, and I'll add that in later in the description box, but we have to update his uh, Amazon affiliated account uh, so he'll get the credit for anybody who might be wanting to, um, you know, go on Amazon and look at these items, you'll be able to do that. Later on, I want to get an account, uh, Amazon affiliated account, but I'm not there yet and it's going to take a while to do that. And so since these items were bought through his account, um, I definitely want him to hopefully get some credit uh, from the purchase of these of these items, okay, that I'm talking about. So we don't have it updated yet, but we'll be working on it very soon. And then I will add that in the description box, okay? So keep an eye for that or anybody in, in the future who sees this video. Um, I'll have that taken care of. And uh, so we try to team up together and help each other out. So I, I really would like to see that happen, okay? Okay, I wanted to show you some options that you can use to anchor down your canopies. Now, a lot of times it, you get stuff like this. This is... um. An actual stake for a tent 
tent stakes. The only downfall is this plastic part here ends up breaking. And then the actual um, stake part is not very thick in diameter and they bend a lot so they're not very sturdy. So Kent has showed me about using these um, type nails. And you can get these uh, or stakes. They're actually like a nail stake. You can get at Home Depot. They come in different sizes. I have uh, a lot, the long one, and then the shorter one. The shorter one I use mostly to anchor down um, my carpet thing that I've kind of put down. It's like a a green or green outdoor um, pad that I put down. So, not a carpet, sorry. <laughs> so I do use this to anchor that down. And then this is what I use for, you know, anchoring something else down, a canopy. I have my shade tent that I have. So anything like that. So again, you want that length. And then you can get these washers to put up at the top. So you're always going at a 45 degree angle. And when you're in a 45 degree angle, you can take your rope. Um, and again, at the 45 degree angle is a, away from what you're anchoring. And then have your rope go around the washer. So, you know, um, as you're coming towards your canopy and then you pull your tension as I just showed you that we did on that sun cell okay um, also is these military stakes Kent had some of those and he gave those to me the cool thing is it's got these little side edges and then you can go in at your angle and then your rope can go around here and then catch up right underneath the edges so that's an Another way of making sure something is secure. So these are just some things that, you know, you could definitely use as you're anchoring things down. And it's as far as how far you're going to go down, really remember is going to depend on the ground that you're dealing with. Whether it's a hard ground or soft sandy ground or something like that, you know, like a softer dirt. So that's all going to depend on, you know, um, how far you're going to want to catch your stake down and also your weather conditions you know whether you're you're in a really really strong um, windy area then you're definitely going to need to go as deep as you can go into the ground as possible um, I hope this was helpful all right I thought it would actually add a little update to my son shade now that i'm at a place that's been really really windy so i'm not now at a different place than um when i originally got it so what i have discovered about my poles now that i've used it a little while is um i was having trouble keeping tension on the rods especially in stronger winds so whenever i was pulling down my tension um, straps then the poles were sliding down st still inside and i wasn't able to keep it sturdy so um i don't know if it's just because i can't i'm not strong enough because i have arthritis in my fingers and my hands and uh, issues there with strength um, so maybe I can't get it strong enough that maybe someone else could but so I managed to try to get it as strong as I can and of course I can use a wrench too but you don't want to over tighten and then start stripping out this part here so I didn't want to do that so I tighten it as far as I feel comfortable doing that and then I wrap it with electrical tape that's what Kent does on his mask that he does for his wires so I did the top and the bottom that way yeah it's a little bit extra work and gonna have to have a little bit of this on hand but I still think I, I like the setup even though I have to do that, I like the poles and the way that they slide down. So that's the only modification that I've had to do. Once I did that, so far I've had no slippage going on with the poles. And then I'm able to keep the sunshade very um, taut and with my straps. And then using the military 
anchors, um, you know, posts, uh, whatever you want to call it, stakes, sorry, I'm always trying to find the word, sorry, stakes, they are working better on, uh, easier for me to get it into the ground and get them back out, or at least they work for me. So I would like to find some more of those online. So now I've had it up for several days in a lot of wind, and it has just been still taut. It's been holding up, and I've got to say that I have been really happy with it. So I wanted to finish this video after I have had it up for a while to give you you know, some more information about it. All right, I do want to show you how I have put it up. And I have it up with um, the NRS strap number two, and then I have it around a clip, okay? And that's how I have it on. And then I put some tape, some just, you know, some, uh, um, duct tape around the clip because it was banging against the van and I didn't want to scratch up my van. And then I've just anchored it with another clip over here where the part that turns around to open up the awning. So see the clip that I have there. So that's how I have it. And it is working out great for the full distance of um, where the brackets are for my awning, or from that bracket, I should say, to the front part that, you know, that round part that you actually use to twist um, and open up the awning. And so it goes the full length, what I wanted to do to go over my door. So I'm very happy with the, the length of it. So that worked out really well. And we did measure that before I bought it. So I'm so excited that that's all working out. Okay, and real quickly, I want to show you what an NRS strap is. So they come in different lengths. So see how this is a dash three. So this is three feet long, and I have a two foot up on my awning. I mostly use a two and actually a three and a one that I use when I put up my antenna, my external antenna for my hot spot. So anyway, so it has just a clip. And then this part um, feeds into the clip. And they're very sturdy and strong. They use them a lot for holding down like kayaks and stuff. So they're, I don't know the exact weighted, the weight in pounds that it um, holds, but it really holds a lot of weight. So they work really, really well for tying down things. Okay, so again, they're NRS straps. Okay, so one of the things I want to point out is that um, the, the position of the sun cell. So the wind is coming from the west, which is on this, this direction, so the other side of the van. So the van is able to block a lot of the wind. So that has helped a lot, even though it has, you know, <laughs> been uh, moving quite a bit. <laughs> but uh, everything is working out great. The other ideal situation would be if I was turned and have the wind come in this direction. So that, that is, would be the ideal situation. You really don't want your wind to be coming um, from the, you know, the, into the, the canopy or sail or whatever you're using for your shade. So in other words, if the wind was coming from this direction, and coming straight in, it would just kind of grab it and lift it up. Now it has done it a little bit in the morning because there, there is a shift in the weather or the wind in the morning, but not very long and nothing that I've had to be too concerned about, but it wouldn't be my ideal placement if it was windy like that all the time because it would put a lot of stress on my setup. So always be mindful of the wind, the direction that it's coming, and how you have everything anchored and set up, and 
still in the position towards the position of the direction of the wind so that's always an important factor okay all right so um, again just so excited with everything it's working out wonderful all right well I hope you enjoyed this video about my sun sail and um, I really like it so right now I'm underneath it and it's got a little filter of light and um, and it just works great. I like the lightness of it. It makes it really easy to um, put up. And that's one of the things that I like about it. So um, not, it's not very heavy. So very easy for me, especially to manage or put it up by myself. I'm, and I'm always still trying to look for ways of doing things by myself because I'm not always going to be, you know, traveling with Kent at times um, or with somebody. So I'm always thinking that way as well. Um, yeah, so anyway, so I really like it. Um, so far, thumbs up. It's been uh, used a couple of times now and really am enjoying it a lot. All right, so I love you all, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and together we can make a difference with my favorite charities with Wilderness on Wheels and Meals on Wheels.